Okay then, I'm gonna go ahead and make the meringue right quick for the pie. Here's the pie here. Oh, don't it look good now? So, basically this is pretty quick and simple. Uh, I'm gonna dump these three egg whites that I saved from earlier into my handy dandy little mixer bowl, mixer thing. And as you get started, I'm going to have it beat up a little bit before I add the uh, sugar. And you don't need an awful lot of sugar. I, I think that originally I used to think you needed a lot more sugar in these things than you probably do. But once it starts to uh, whip up a little bit, I'll put a little sugar and a little touch of uh, vanilla flavoring in there. That'll cause it to harden up a bit. And once the way you you can overbeat meringue pretty easily, so what you have to do is, that's pretty good, pretty foamy right there, so we'll start putting a little sugar in it. The thing you want to get with meringue is you want to get it where it will peak, not P-E-E-K, but P-E-A-K. A little drop of uh, no flavoring in it. What I mean by peak is that when you pick this up, see how that peak fell over? I'll do it again. Watch the little peak that makes and how it fell over. You want it to stand up. So we're going to do that again. A little bit more. You can kind of tell by the way these ridges make when it's close. And the thing is, if you beat it too much, it'll get too hard. You really want to catch it when it's just about right. See that? Man. I'm going to give it just a few more seconds. Okay, I'm calling that good. Now all I do is take it and put it on the pie. Okay then, now we're going to put the meringue on the pie. And then we're going to put the pie in the oven to brown the meringue. There's kind of a lot of different ways to brown a meringue. You can take a, uh, like a cutting torch and turn the fire out so that you get a nice long flame and you can brown it that way. Um, you can also put the oven on uh, like broil. I used to have a stove that would get all hot up top there and you could put it on broil. And, uh, you know, put it right under the eye and kind of watch it. Because you basically what you want to do is kind of crisp that meringue a little bit, but you get too much heat, it burns. It burns real easy. I think what my mom used to say to do is to, like put the stove on like 350 and then put it in there for 15 minutes or something like that. What I've done here today. All right, I'm not exactly sure how much of that I got because the. Uh, memory card ran out but you see how that meringue is starting to brown up around the hot spots it's getting done really quick there so I'm gonna leave it in there for just a couple more moments and then out she comes well, yeah the thing about a pie is if you go too far there's no turning back so that's just about just about right Hot enough to need a hot pad, really. <clears throat> okay, there she is. Oh, that's just about perfect. Now we'll let that cool again, and she's ready to serve whenever we're ready to eat it. Oh, the joy. 
All righty then, I just thought I'd bring y'all in here and let you see this pie. This is like the next day after it was, uh-oh. Uh uh oh, somebody been in my pie. Dang. Huh? Look at that. What? Remember last night when Dead Eye Dan came by? He done ate a quarter of the pie, but we wasn't watching him. We should have kept a closer eye on that boy. You know how that boy is. Look at him. He done ate a whole... Where's the pie? Dang, I say, and dang again. Dead Eye Dan. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> See y'all. Say Merry Christmas, honey baby. Merry Christmas. Bye y'all. Merry Christmas. Bye.